Hi everybody, it's Devon here from Barrick Mitsubishi. Today I'll be telling you about our business here and I'll also be giving you guys a 360 video on the 2017 Pajero Sport. Guys, this is the GLS. It comes in a lovely white. A very, very great family SUV here. Seven seater, guys. At the front you have your daytime running lights, which is a really nice feature. We have four new tires that have been fitted onto this Pajero Sport, guys. It's your four-cylinder, 2.4-litre turbo. Lovely diesel SUV for the family. Now, guys, the paint here is in really good condition. You've got some nice tinted windows. Being that the paint is white, I do suggest getting a hydroceramic coating to protect the paint and have it looking as good as new for as long as possible. You're able to get that sorted with our pre-delivery manager, Mr. Dan D'Souza, when you guys come in. He'll also help you guys out with things such as tinted windows, although this already has that. Dash cam options for safety and also warranty. Guys, there's no scratches, no hail damage to this car. And as I mentioned earlier, four new tires that have been fitted here. And the rims are also in really good condition with no gutter rash, no scratches and no damage. You have a keyless entry to this Pajero Sport, guys. Let's head into the passenger side and show you what it's looking like in there. So very nice and simple setup on the door. You've got a nice leather here, your electronic window, and a junk bottle holder below. Lovely black interior, le all leather seats. The leather's in great condition along with the stitching, and there's no stains. Your floor mats come with the car as well, and they're also in really good condition here, guys. To adjust the seating on the passenger side, it's an electronic button right here. We'll go to the middle row and look at the space you guys get. So again, all black leather interior, and these seats are also in great condition. There's no stains and nothing damaged to the stitching. If you don't need all three seats up, you're able to put this one down and in here you guys will be able to have your drink or cup holders. Behind the passenger and the driver's seat, you've also got a bit of storage space here for something like an iPad, books, anything of that nature. And the floor mats on the back seat as well are in really, really good condition. Guys, the Pajero Sport, this 2017 edition, it is a seven seater. So that's a really nice feature if you've got anywhere between four and five children. It comes with the rear tow bar, of course. You've got your reverse sensors and your reverse cameras, which comes as a convenience feature and also a safety feature, as I mentioned before, if you had kids or even if you were doing school pickups. We'll have a look inside at the boot space as well, while the seven seats, while the back seats, excuse me, are down. So quite a bit of boot space here. And of course, as I mentioned, you've got the seven seats, so you will be able to pull these tabs and these seats would come up. As you can see, there's two of them there. If you guys are looking to finance, we have our two business managers, Julie and Raj. They have 20 years of experience between the two of them. They would love to sit down with you guys regarding all the finance options. Now coming here on the driver's side, guys, the paint's also in great condition. There's no scratches on this side, also no hail damage, nothing of that nature. The four new tires again I'll mention on this side in great condition along with the rims, no gutter rash, no damage. Guys, this vehicle for a 2017 model has done just over 91,000 kilometers. We're gonna head inside now to the driver's side and we'll see what the functions are here so very similar door here the old leather the four electronic windows same with the passenger side if you want to adjust that seat you're able to do so electronically with these buttons now we're in the car guys it's very comfortable seat it's very easy to get in and also out of as I mentioned, it's done 91,000 kilometers, just over, so we're now heading to about 92 soon. 
We'll start with the steering wheel guys. With the steering wheel on the right hand side, you've got your cruise control functions right above here in the black. Down below is where you can enter and access all the trip information on the dash. I'll play through these so you guys can see everything is working. And there we are guys. And we're back to the start. On the left hand side guys you have your voice command button along with your phone volume as well and if you're listening to the radio you're able to source through whatever station you need be. Your traction control is here right by your leg with the push to start button as well of course and to adjust your side mirrors it's just there above. Coming into the entertainment unit guys, this is a really user friendly entertainment unit. It comes with Bluetooth audio as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay which is a lovely convenience feature. Everything is working as it should be, nice and smooth. There's no delays with anything here. There's the Bluetooth, you've got your GPS as well, satellite navigation, and your apps once your phone is connected as well. Guys, you've got a rear AC as well as obviously the front AC. The rear AC button is just below here, in front of that handbrake. You've got a dual cup holder in the middle here, guys. And obviously being a 4x4 you can switch between all your options here with this in the middle for more storage space guys in the middle compartment here along with a HDMI port and two USB charging ports and of course that's where the Apple CarPlay comes in guys there's nothing bad to say about this vehicle it's been kept in great condition by the previous owner it's nice and clean all the functions are working the way they should be working in this vehicle nice and seamlessly without any delays the steering wheel is intact the stitching on the seats are great it's a nice and clean vehicle guys it drives lovely this vehicle does come with uh two working keys and as a full service history as well If you would like to leave a deposit, you can do so on our website. Leaving a deposit of $500 would subject you to a test drive. We would also be able to get you to speak to Mr. Dan D'Souza regarding all the options I mentioned earlier in this video, and also our two business managers, Raj and Julie, regarding finance. Guys, we are located 20 to 32 Kangan Drive. That's 20 to 32 Kangan Drive. We're just off of Clyde Road and just by the Barrick McDonald's and Barrick train station. Thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.